Love her show, Raising Whitley on the OWN Network. It's actually uh, part of a wonderful lineup of shows uh, on Saturday nights that has already beaten out BET. Can you guys believe it? Oprah, she she was telling you that, that the OWN Net Network was on a climb and they seem to be climbing over that cliff. Please welcome for the very first time to TKIF, our girl Kim Whitley's in the building. What? up? Kim, what? Man, it is good to be on the air with you. Oh my goodness! First of all, Kim, I, I, from the minute I saw like the the little trailer they did before the season actually even started, I said, "Oh my goodness! I think this is going to be one of my favorite new shows." Oh, well, thank you. I'm glad it is one of your favorite new shows. Okay, and I had a little marathon um this week just trying to catch up on the show, and I'm just like, "Wow, you have so many great friends that you call the village." that are helping you out with Joshua. I think that's amazing. Oh, well, thank you. The village is pretty. They are interesting uh, bunch of people. They really are. <laughs> they are really are. <laughs> uh, yeah, but they are helping out with Joshua. And so far, so good. It's been a lot of fun. You know, it, it, what made you decide, you know, of course you had this experience where Joshua came into your life within like an hour and you like had to make uh -huh. that decision. Um, it, you know, are you going to take this child on? What, you know, did you want to have children eventually? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, well, I, you know, you always think you're going to get married and have the man and you're going to have the kid. Mm -hmm. But obviously that was not my uh, pattern. That was not uh, my destiny. Destiny. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. when he came, I guess it was God's way of saying, hey, you won't do it. I'm going to do it for you. Amen. Well, you know, the thing is, uh, now that you have Joshua, does this, does this make you want to have more? You know what, Kim? I think about it all the time. Um, I always am, should I, should I not? Um, you know, I, I, but it, I was so afraid the first time. Uh, <laughs> so, you know, uh, I don't know. <laughs> if, you, if you could, would you have just one more, two more, three more, four more, five more? I would have one more because what I have found out, what everybody says, they're expensive. And I travel a lot, so I got to buy everybody tickets. Yep. So, um, yeah, it's a, and I would like Joshua to, you know, have a playmate um, so, uh, that would. Can we just talk about how cute Joshua is? He is adorable. Thank you so much. Oh, my God. He's, he's freaking adorable. And he's, he seems like such a pleasant baby. He is, he is, you know, and that has been from day one. If you ever watch the beginning of the show, watch the opening title. And when they put the camera on Joshua's face and he does that little smirk and yeah. you hear us screaming, uh -huh. that, was, that was when he first came to my house. Oh. And then he just smiled a little bit. We couldn't believe it. Wow. We couldn't destiny, believe it. Destiny. Yeah, that was my girlfriend videotaping. Wow. Uh, you know there she if you guys just tuned in, this is, of course, TKIF. We're here live with Raising Whitley's star, Kim Whitley. First of all, congratulations. You have been renewed for a second season. That's right, and they're going to extend it for an hour. How it, about that? It needed to be an hour, though, because I felt like it just went so quickly. <laughs> oh, gosh. Listen to you. Listen to you. But it's, it's, it's going to be amazing. First of all, congratulations, because, you know, the lineup, you know, Life of Latoya, of course, Raising Whitley, and... Um, uh, uh, fix my life. All have been renewed, uh, and that whole lineup uh, on Saturday nights has set the bar so high for own, and it's just really taking them to a whole another stratosphere in regards to ratings, especially for African Americans. I, you know what made you decide I want to document this process? Well, to see that, you know, it's hard to say. It really is, you know. I've always wanted to document my life. It's always been a reality show from day one. Right. Um, uh, docu series and craziness. But once Joshua came and the village and everything, I felt that I could inspire and help other people do the same thing. I said, why hold a good thing in a secret and show other single parents and parents just to how to build the village and how to ask for help? And, I, and to do it through laughter. You know, once you get people's attention with laughter, you're going to almost teach them anything. Amen. Amen. And that's one. That's one of the great things. Is that Joshua in the background? <laughs> How did you? Yes, you can hear him. <laughs> hey, Joshua. Wait. First of all, you know, rewind. Oh gosh. Oh my gosh. That is too funny. The first reading interview. Um, I know. Joshua has his own Twitter. 
Joshua is on Twitter. It is uh, Joshua Whitney 11. That is right. What is he doing on Twitter? He's probably the youngest member of t on Twitter ever. He, uh, he is tweeting. How about that? He is tweeting. <laughs> That's what he is doing. He's like, he's like, y'all know what's going on. That is so funny. He's like, <laughs> he's the youngest member on Twitter. <laughs> he is the youngest member on Twitter. Kim, first of all, I mean, we love The Village. The Village has so many characters, but it's so true that everyone comes together. There's such a, a, a vibe of love between everyone that's involved. Um, you know, it, how did, the, did you, like, how did you decide, you know, everyone, we're going to do this, and everyone said, yeah, we're going we're gonna to join you, and we're going to document this on television. And we're okay with that. Well, <laughs> um... Well, you know what it is? Well, first of all, just to get everybody to, you know, to make them real villagers and to sign on the paperwork and say that, you know, that they're going to be, you know, part of uh, Joshua's life. That was the first step. Mm -hmm. And then to say that, hey, you know what, if we can help other people build their village, are you guys willing to put it on television? Mm. Please, look at those characters. You know, they were very excited. No, they yes. Were, yes, they were made for television. And it's rare that you have friends like that, but... They, they were isn't, definitely made for television. <laughs> isn't that funny? <laughs> Especially Wendell. <laughs> yes, honey. Love Wendell. But we also... A fool. That is a fool. <laughs> Rodney. Okay, what? Okay. If you didn't tell anyone th th the whole makeup of your family, we would honestly believe that Rodney is the father of Joshua. Oh. Well, that is good. Yeah, he loves him. He really does. They really have bonded. And, and, but, you know, this, you know, because, you know, there will be a point where you get into a serious relationship and that will become the new daddy in, in Joshua's life. How do you think that's going to affect the relationship with him and Rodney? Or you and Rodney? Well, well what I have done, because I'm a grown-up, <laughs> is that if, if me and Rodney had been married and gotten divorced, mm -hmm. He would still be Joshua's dad, so I have to treat treat it as such. Mm -hmm. You know, if I meet someone down the road, there is no way they could take that position. Yeah. They could be Joshua's stepdaddy, but they could never take it the dad role because I think that's unfair. Yeah. Yeah, he will always be his dad. If I meet somebody and get married, uh, your daddy's coming to pick you up at baseball. You know, it's going to be the same thing. How did that even happened though that he took on this role as the father figure and it didn't happen to to wendell <laughs> how, did, <laughs> how, did, how did the roles get, get displaced like that <laughs> that is so funny well because when uh joshua came home rodney was close by and he came by and he started helping me because he has two sons so he really jumped in and started helping me and he bonded with joshua um and I believe that Rodney, well, the main thing is Rodney said his father abandoned him and wow. his uncles raised him. And he said, I never, he said, I don't want that to happen to Joshua. Wow. So I want to be his father and, um, you know, and just be there for him. How did you feel about so, that when, when he came to you and said something like that? Did you start bawling? Because I feel like crying right now. Uh, <laughs> I, actually, I, I, I was like, I was blown away. Uh, um, but when he told me that, you know, about his dad and how he felt, I had to look, you know, you got to look years ahead in your son's life. Mm. You can't look at right now. I have to look at what he wa I want him to become mm -hmm. and how I want his life to look. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Um, so, so I was always blown away. Definitely. If you guys just tuned in, we're here, Kim Whitley from Raising Whitley. The season finale. I can't believe it's the season finale already. That's why I said the I had to get you here on the season finale. That, that's right. The season finale is tomorrow. Tomorrow at 9 o'clock. Oh, my goodness. 9 o'clock on own. Uh, that is it's going to be funny. <laughs> I, I, without a doubt, the whole entire season has been funny. I mean, everyone expects you to be funny, but just to have the entire village be funny was a, a treat and a half. Yes, Joshua. Oh. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you hear Joshua. Yeah, Joshua's trying to get on the radio. Yeah, the whole village. Yeah, all of them. They're all characters. And that's what's so funny. They're all characters in my life. It's a beautiful... Very I, funny. If we, if we go beneath the, beneath the surface of everything, I know we make a joke about, you know, th them being characters and, and whatnot, but like I said before, there is this immense love that comes together with the entire group for this one child, I think, which is a beautiful thing, a, a, something that we need to see on television. Yes. Well, thank you so much. And that's what I'm hoping. And that's why, you know, we're on OWN, a network that yeah. inspires and enlightens people. And that's what I hope that this show does. That shows, you know, that we're all in it. 
to raise Joshua for the good, even though we have to put our differences aside sometimes, mm. that he is the main focus. And if, if people can come together in all these families and, and do that, imagine the giants of the kings and queens that we would raise. I, I, like I said, I think it's a beautiful thing. I love that Owen has brought this to, um, to, to, to their network. And, and I said, from the moment I saw the little sneak preview, I was like, oh my goodness, I already know this is going to be one of my favorite shows. And it, it, it's definitely become that. The new, um, the season finale, of course, again, is coming on tomorrow. Excited. What can we expect from the season finale tomorrow? I don't know if I can tell you. You're oh, going to expect. Really? Okay, okay. All I'm going to tell you is you're going to see. Rodney, Rodney is overstepping his boundary. Mm. And, and I'm going to say Rodney is overstepping his boundaries. And I, 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 I'm, I surprised myself. Oh. <laughs> How about that? I surprised myself. And you guys just tuned um, in. Kit Whitley revealed that, of course, um, Raising Whitley has been renewed for a second season, but it will also be a full hour next season. That's an exciting. Full hour. Very exciting. I, I know you can't tell us what's going to happen for season two, but what would you like to happen for season two? Well, for season two, I'd like uh, to see me get a bigger car. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I believe that you'll see me on more dates uh, for Ooh. season two. Oh, yeah. Are you looking and for I husband? believe. Yes. All right. I would love to have someone to spend the rest of my life with. Mm. Um, and you will see, uh, I'm pretty sure you'll see, you know, we might add some villagers. We might get some, some villagers. Who knows? We might have uh, 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 what is it, the trial at the end of Survivor. Oh. We might have something like that. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Somebody going to get kicked off the island? <laughs> Somebody might get kicked off the island, honey. Um, but we shall see. You know, because, we shall see. Because you're on own, everyone, of course, is going to ask you, have you met with Oprah? Have you, been, have you talked with Oprah? What does Oprah think about the show? I know if you follow on Twitter, we already know. But, you know. Right. But for those that don't, Oprah, I'm on Twitter. Oh, she, yeah, what well, she loves it. Yeah, you, don't, yeah, you can tell on Twitter, but she loves the show. Of course, I've met her. I just did a comedy special for OWN, uh, hosted by uh, Wanda Sykes, that will come out on the 13th and the 20th of, of July, called Hilarious. Oh. Uh, it's a, it's a, the writers, two one-hour comedy specials with female comics, and I was a part of that. So I know that uh, the OWN Network and Oprah, uh, they like me and they like the show, so uh, good things, good things. They definitely like you. They renewed you for a second season, and they added an half an hour. <laughs> Come on, come on now. That's right. And I want to make sure everyone follows me on Twitter also and yeah. Josh. So, absolutely. K-Y-M. <laughs> <laughs> and we're going to post on our, our, our social media everything Kim Whitley and, of course, Josh. Oh, of course, thank Joshua. you. Well, you know, every, every, you know what, what, what's what been the biggest thing? You know, because you, you did not prepare for, for this whole situation. A lot of people want to know, where, where, you know, is the mother involved? You know, the biological mother? Uh, she, I still talk to her on occasion. I like to call her the tummy mommy. Tummy mommy, okay. <laughs> uh, so, yes, I still talk to her on occasion. Okay. And she's doing fine. Okay. Do you, is she involved in Joshua's life? Uh, no, I have not made that decision yet. All right. Um, Maybe second season. Who knows? <laughs> you know what, Kim? <laughs> You're going to have to come back <laughs> and talk about, about the second season. Um, but also, you know, because of this, you know, big change in your life, what, you know, what, what have you learned from Joshua coming into your life? What are some of the biggest lessons that you've learned? Well, uh, one of the biggest lessons is I found out that he has allergies. You know, you don't know even when you birth a child, uh, what they're going to have. And that uh, I had to create, uh, me and his father created a Allen t-shirt uh, called Don't Feed, uh, and it's a don'tfeedme.org. It's an allergy t-shirt where you write the child's name. It says Don't Feed, and then there's a white block. You write the child's name, and then it has a list of allergies or food that you can check off the child is allergic. And we have bags like that to go to uh, daycare. So that was one big lesson wow. and yeah that was the thing and we've been able to help other parents because the 
T-shirt. I'm so sorry my phone keeps ringing. Why would I call you on my cell phone? That's just ridiculous. Um, the other lesson is I learned whether a child comes to you or through you hmm. that you love them just the same. Wow. And it's just as hard. It's just as hard. You know, because, you know, we hear a lot of people say that, but to actually speak to someone um, that, that's going through it and experiencing it, you really feel like Joshua is your mm-hmm. child. Oh, without a doubt. I don't even, it doesn't even, like, there is no difference to me. I can't, you know, even imagine. That's a beautiful thing, beautiful thing. Well, we thank you so much, Kim, for being here. What else is coming up for you? First of all, we we know a new season's coming, but any any new sitcoms, any new movies? Uh, Well, I have Black Dynamite. We just started the second season with that. Um, That's right on Adult Swim. And... um, then, of course, you know, getting ready for Raisin Whitley and the hilarious comedy uh, show. And um, so far, that is it. I mean, if somebody in the Dope Feed Me Church still working on that. Mm-hmm. That's a lot so far. Yeah, that, that is a lot. <laughs> well, we wish you But there could be more. There could be more. Huh? Well, after a, a season two, we'll see. That's right. We'll see. <laughs> I'm about, well, about to call you Whitley. Kim Whitley. <laughs> That's right. Thank you so much for being here. We hope you'll come back after the season two starts up again. When can we expect season yeah. two to, to, to come? Uh, season two will probably come towards the end of the year. Okay, perfect. Perfect. Yeah, but probably. We got to remind everyone, tomorrow night, Saturday on OWN at 9 o'clock, Raising Whitley, the season finale will end. Season air. finale. And we're excited to see it. It's been a great season so far. Thank you so much, Kim. And thanks, Joshua. All right. Thank you. (laughs) We're going to jump into some more music, everybody. Don't forget, we're live until 12 a.m. Eastern.